first things first, we did meet an adorable girl, Marina, outside. Who's okay. just dying to meet you. And she right. has this adorable card for you. Her letter, okay. she came all the way from Argentina just to see you, which gave me a real scope of mm -hmm. your theme. Um, I, I am very surprised myself sometimes. But people really sometimes travel a long distance, and uh, I really have to uh, uh, admire those people for their persistence and, and obviously also for their love. Yeah. I feel very humble. Yeah, lovely. Well, I'm gonna give this to you. All right. You may do there's as something, you will. Is there something secret? In no, this? there are beautiful words which I took the. Well, I have to read it. I now, did otherwise read. It's like, you wanna read? I think she'll be so beyond touched. Adorable. Okay. So sweet. Very sweet. She will wait until the end of her days to okay. think for you. Um, so I'm 31 and okay. you're like 30 something, right? 33. Yeah, which we're basically the same age. Yes. And the first thought is like how incredibly different your life has been from mine. But I don't know your life yet, so well, maybe we have Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you my life has been different from yours. Okay. Um, meaning, I was not a genius child. Well, I wasn't either. Ah, that's a good question. You so see, you don't we consider... Have something, <laughs> we have something in common. I don't consider myself at all uh, anything close to, uh, to a genius. Oh my god, I was such a like high standard. Um, I, I'm a hard worker. Yeah. And, and I do... Um, uh, I do figure out things quickly, which helps, especially when you play an instrument. And um, that's, that's all I did all my life. You know, I focus on the things which I had to improve and and kept those things which uh, worked. But you started so young. Yeah. And most kids doesn't don't start mean, at age four working yeah, so hard. It doesn't mean that you're a genius. It just means you have somebody in the back of, of you saying, you know, let's do this right now. So, right, so in what I read, I saw that yeah. your parents were like pretty strict. They were pretty strict, but you know, any, any young person who's very good at a very early age always has a stage parent. I mean, it's the same in sports, it's the same in, in, in ballet, it's the same in gymnastics. It's, it's anywhere where you have to have a physical and, 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 and almost also a mental uh, preparation for, for the job, for, for your life. It, it really has to start very early, and it's just the way it works. Even Mozart had Leopold Mozart, you know, behind him. So basically, it's it's always somebody a little bit pushing, which is okay in the end if it works out, which is probably disastrous if it doesn't. Sure. Well, I mean, how do you you feel completely fine with what your parents? Um, I, I trust me. If if my life would <laughs> have worked out differently, yeah. I, I would reconsider my emotions to, towards my parents. Obviously, because there was a lot of pressure put up. But since everything worked out fine, I have to take this into the equation and say everything I did in the past, everything my parents did in the past, was absolutely right. Sure. Because right now I'm doing well. <laughs> okay, lovely, great answer. Um, so, do you feel old or young? I feel... Or age -less, that's all right. I, I feel very old after a night of drinking and very young after a night of not drinking. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> um, when I look at the image of David Garrett, yes. what comes to my mind is really the book cover of a romance novel. Really? That is horrible. <laughs> no, a beautiful, a beautiful That is horrible. <laughs> That's like the worst thing I've ever heard. I mean that in the best of ways. All right, fair enough. Please go on. I think on. all the girls are very excited. <laughs> Please go on. This. <laughs> That's the question. Well, the Let's question is, so you don't see yourself at all that way. No. Which is shocking, It actually. is. It is very shocking. You don't, I mean, so you have this beautiful hair. Yes. This stunning <laughs> yeah, just, appearance. Just shut up. <laughs> just literally, like, this cannot get any more embarrassing. Um, I don't really care too much about, I really don't at all care about image. It really sounds extremely weird. Everything I do in life has is, is very pragmatic. I'm quite German when it comes to that. Um, I like to keep my hair long because it's quicker and less money spent on the hairdresser because in the end, if you have short hair, you have to go every three, four weeks, get a cut. And since I'm on the road all the time, I, you know, sometimes you get really bad cuts, obviously. I've, I've had that in the past. 
It's the easiest to maintain. It's the quickest to go out of the bathroom. Yes, you can blow dry it. You can not blow dry it. Basically, I'm done out of the bathroom in 10 to 15 minutes with showering. So it's actually really low maintenance. And my life is all about quick things and low maintenance so I can actually get a lot of work done. So you're very practical. Very practical. Very practical. But I, if, if it kind of looks from the outside differently, then I will have to live with that. Uh, but you're aware of how people are creating, what image people are creating of you, even well, if you don't identify with it. Maybe, maybe people just take what I am and, and put it in a different light, but I, I don't really care too much about it. Yeah, you don't associate yourself with it. No, not really. I mean, mm -hmm. basically nobody ever said do this or that. People, I guess, were already happy with what they had and never tried to change me, which is good. Lovely. But I don't see myself that way at all. Yeah. At all. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Yeah. So, having had this super um, strenuous or at least hard working mm -hmm. childhood, how were your childhood friendships and your relationships with other kids? And um, Well, I had luckily two siblings. Um, older brother, younger sister, I mean, they were more friends than siblings to me because uh, my friendships really were very sparse, to say the least, because I, I never really went to a regular school. My parents did take me out after the sixth grade, and I was homeschooled until I, I finished uh, high school. So uh, friendships were... Um, not really happening in my life, so I really focused more on, on family. On your family? Yes. And that's, that's... I don't know if it's good or bad. Well, how do you it feel turned about out it? right. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sane, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm doing a job which I love doing. Um, I'm earning quite a lot of money with that. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse, could it? Yes, it could <laughs> exactly. be a lot worse. Yeah. Great, all right. No, I was just hoping for some tears, but it's No, there, there, there are no tears, you know. <laughs> Why would you cry about something which goes wrong in the past if you actually learn something out of it and, and make it right in the present? So there's no reason for it. Lovely. All right. Um, and then how do you feel with your contemporary musicians? Yeah. Um, do you feel that... Do you ever feel a sense of competition with other violin players? Oh, if you start, I always believe if you start looking left and right, you, you, you don't pay enough attention to who you are and what you actually have to do. I don't really care what other people do. You know, as long as I, uh, I do the best what I can do, it's, I, can I cannot change what other people do anyway. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to make me better. So it's a waste of time. Yeah. Comparison is a waste of time. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Compare yourself to your to the best you can be, and you're going to be good. Another dumb question: Do you consider yourself a celebrity? <sighs> Whatever that means. I think it's <laughs> such a such a new kind of word. I don't know. I, I consider myself sometimes a good human being, and that's that's good enough for me. Okay. Um, so I saw that you were acting in that movie. Yeah. Um, how was that experience in The Devil's Violence? Violence. Um It was actually quite easy because it had a lot of things I could relate to. And I think acting is really about um, relating to your character. And it, I was playing a violinist, obviously. The life of a violinist is quite similar uh, in, in the 21st century. Also in the 19th century, there's not really much you do different. So um, the, the growing up, the, the discipline, the, the, the ideas to how to make something work and uh, to write music, to, to really be involved uh, with also the business side at some point. So that's all something I went through with in my own life. So basically the story is very close to what any musician would go through. So I could relate to it and I think that's the most important thing. Would I have played a role which was outside of my life? No way. Of your music, yeah. would you say makes your heart break the most? <sighs> that like grabs you. It's really hard to say. It's like saying, "What is your favorite food?" I would give you a different answer each day. So today. Today, 
I will have to go on stage and see which actually will get me. You know, that's why I became a musician, because it's all about what you do in that moment and you are in charge of that moment and you create it for yourself and, and then other people are around. Um, so, so I cannot tell you right now what's going to happen. But that's a beautiful thing, you know. I'll, I'll surprise myself and hopefully other uh, people who are in, in the audience will, will, will take that moment together with me. And will you know it on stage? On stage I will, yeah, of course. You'll know, wow, this was the one tonight. Yes. Yes. Well, hopefully the whole show will feel like this was the show, but you know, sometimes there are special moments on stage where you feel like, you know, mind and body really work 100% together and that's what you're always working for. Beautiful. All right, so now we do have lots of Twitter, lots yes. of your Twitter followers who okay. are just dying to know I mean, things. Hopefully not. Don't you die. retweeted <laughs> us. Don't die. What's that? I said you re retweeted us this week. Yeah, well. <laughs> I always do. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> You're adorable. All right, so Katie Cat, 1105. What other forms of art do you enjoy for winding down, relaxing, other than music? Um, I, I like to do a little bit of sports. I think always that you know, the, the healthier you are in your life, the, the, the healthier your brain actually functions. And it's always great endorphins. So, so what sports? Uh, jogging, mostly cardio. I love cardio. You know, break out a sweat at least three times a week. Good for you. I couldn't run to save my life. Ah, uh, trust me, you will. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to save my yes. life. <laughs> um, what is a misconception you feel people have about you, either good or bad? Um, the thing is, I don't really know what people, like the whole thing with the romance novel, and that kind of caught me off guard. I don't even know what people think about me. And I, don't, you do? I don't really don't. I don't read stuff about me. So. Okay. So I don't know really what the misconceptions are. Probably one thing which I always have to correct in interviews, so probably that is one misconception, is that people don't think that I do classical music, which is really not true, because I always have to correct them and say that 50% of my time every year, at least 50%, is spent on, on playing core classical repertoire. Beautiful. Um, and if not a violinist, what could you imagine doing instead? Oh, nothing. I think I'm totally useless besides music. Wow. It's horrible. It's horrible. Wow. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a one-trick pony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Elena Priswit would like to know um, what school subjects you used to love and which ones you hated and what your favorite color is. So um, school, subjects. school subjects. I, I liked philosophy and math. And I, would, I would be able to tell that in a heartbeat. Really? Mm -hmm. Philosophy? Yeah. Well. It's just something I felt comfortable in. Um, what's the second question? Um, which you hated? Uh, stuff I hated. I hated um, any languages. Not that I have a problem learning them, but I, I, I'm horrible in, in, in spelling. It mm -hmm. just doesn't look right all the time. <laughs> So I and, and of course when you go to uh, to elementary school and then high school and, and spelling is a big kind of thing. I mean these days luckily they have spell check on computers. So I look when I write emails, people think I'm normal. But if you see my handwriting and you know everything kind of like turns around. I guess I have like this is called uh, dys dyslexia or whatever. Dyslexia. Dyslexia. You have the violinist brain. Yeah, probably a little bit on. It's not really proper up there. So that was always uh, responsible for my bad grades in, in German, in English, in French, and then in Italian. So I always dropped out of any languages because the grades were not good. Okay. Because my spelling sucks. Okay. And your favorite color? Um, blue. Nice. How? Man. Um, and the David Garrett fans would yeah. like to know if you have favorite restaurants in some cities where you visit and do you return to them. Well, which city? Where can they find you? Seems to be the gist. Okay. Well, it depends on which city. Uh, let's say New York. New, New York. York. Well, there are a couple of places I, I like to go. There's one Russian place called Marivana. It's on 20th and Park. Ooh, okay. I go there, but I'm so. It's going to be such a risk to be there every day because I go there once a year. Well, someone came but, to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> I go there sometimes. Um, Barbunia, it's just around the corner. Oh, Barbunia, I know. What is the best thing about being David there? Um. <laughs> Um, no idea. I guess the best part of my life is that um, I get breaks once in a while where I really can sleep until 4 on a weekday. 
Rock you and then we do the walk in. Thank you. 